The Lady or the Tiger. Heaven Letter Number 5590. March 15, 2016. Note. This title refers to an English story published in 1882. In the story, there are two doors without any signs on them. Behind one door is a beautiful lady. Behind the other door is a tiger. The hero of the story has to guess which door to open. It is not necessary for you to deliberate as much as you do before making a decision to move forward. It is not that you have to do any one thing, nor does this mean that you have to race to move forward. You have nothing to prove. You are living life. Seek to enjoy the life you lead. Nothing states that you must make perfect choices right along, yet, at the same time, you can't always wait for an emergency of action to get you to decide. The thing is that there are choices for you to make. Sometimes you choose other people, such as voting for a president. What do you know? Perhaps you are certain you do know, or, perhaps you are certain you don't. Sometimes a choice is easy to make. Sometimes you don't have any idea what's a good choice to make. Sometimes you close your eyes. Sometimes a choice can be just so-so, okay, perhaps not matter all that much. You have no way of knowing what doors your choice will open, or what doors your choice might close. Then there are times when life just seems to pick you up, and you can't stop a choice from happening. There are all manners of choices even within choices. Sometimes you are blown by the wind. Sometimes you close your eyes and pin the tail on the donkey. Sometimes you make hasty choices whereas some choices you can't seem to make, as if some power keeps you back. Some choices you can't seem to stop. Somehow or another, you move here, or you move there, and you get somewhere. All roads lead to me. You make choices, and your choices make your lives, beloveds. Sometimes you make a quick decision about a weighty matter. It's almost like you pick a card about whom you will marry, and, yet, you will ponder years about a lightweight choice or two. Do you think that there is a foolproof way to make a right choice? Even with all good choices to make, it is hard to choose one and set yourself on a course. In fact, it could be said rightly that all choices are blind choices. Life is not so matter of fact. Life itself is often a play of the dice. Some people can seem to make the best of even a poor choice, and some people seem to be unable to make the best of a wise choice. Somehow you make decisions, or life makes them for you. Or did you ever really make a choice in your life? Were you pushed along? Perhaps a choice chose you. A choice clamped its hand on your shoulder and wouldn't let you go. Perhaps you were even flattered. Yes, there are choices that may necessitate that you make them, whereas other choices may be out of your hands. You may have been simply pulled along. When you go a certain way in your canoe, you may reach the rapids. You chose a direction, yet you didn't have a clue as to where the direction you chose would lead you. Most choices are usually not dead-end choices but open-ended instead. What if you could grasp the idea that all choices are good? Even when a choice you make does not lead you to the destination you wanted, you got somewhere with it. Perhaps now you are certain you don't want the choice you chose any longer. You learned something. Perhaps something unknown to you worked itself out. We come back to the idea. How do you know when something is good or not? Sometimes medicine tastes bad, yet it is powerful medicine just the same. In life, of course, you are not really looking for a cure. You are learning to be glad and grateful for the ride. No need to tally up the ride. It was a ride, and the ride took you somewhere, and now here are more rides to choose from. Choose to be at peace. Have no regrets. Embrace life. You follow life, and life follows you. Be hospitable to life. Life does not always have to be charming and please you. Dear ones, all that you have to accomplish is life. There are no other mandatory requirements. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org